Hi there. So welcoming you back in the laboratory. As, as I told that, uh, what actually fascinates some people and uh, confuses some people and irritates some people in the laboratory are the calculations, right? We we are really obsessed with the observations and results, and we really love them. But then calculating. Uh, but without that, uh, we just cannot conclude anything. Anyways, so let's go with the today's thing. Uh, we'll be talking about uh, spectrophotometry and colorimetry, right? Most of the biochemistry practicals, they deal with that. You go there and you take the OD and they come back and they don't know now what to do with that particular OD, what it exactly means. Anyways, that is not the point of discussion today. Let me do uh, something like uh, which would like uh, give an insight that uh, how exactly we look at these particular calculations. So here I go, 1 ml of glucose solution. Uh, whose concentration I don't know. I'm, I'm performing experiments to know what I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, so 1 ml of the glucose concentration, uh, glucose whose concentration I don't know, uh, was assayed with a standard colorimetric method, which uh, was using a standard glucose of 200 microgram per ml, but I took around 0.5 ml of that. So 0.5 ml of 200 microgram per ml was the standard glucose. And my unknown solution was 1 ml of the glucose solution. Now, when I when I did this with a standard colorimetric method, I got the OD for unknown as 0.3 and OD for standard also as 0.3, right? So, simple thing, what we know is your OD of your test upon OD of your standard into the amount. Now, this actually goes with... Uh, the amount and uh, this multiplicand is not what you call as uh, the concentration, it deals with the amount. Now, uh, OD of test and standard, like if you look at it, it seems to be same. But here we need to take into account that we have taken only 0.5 ml of your standard glucose. So, uh, the standard glucose was no doubt 200 micrograms per ml. So, in 1 ml, there were 200 micrograms. Now I am taking 0.5, I don't want to do much calculations here, but now here it is half of that, so it is 100. So remember here when I am talking about concentration of the standard, since I have taken only 0.5 of that, it is 100, right, so it is 100. So here I will get say something 0.3, a 0.3 into 100, right, a very difficult calculation. <laughs> anyway, so this gives me around 100 micrograms, right. So, uh, my unknown, what you call as your solution, glucose solution, it contains 100 micrograms. Now, these 100 micrograms, they are present in 1 ml of it, right? Because my 1 ml gave that particular OD. So, my concentration of unknown would be 100 micrograms per ml, right? I hope it is. <laughs> so, as I told, that it is OD of test upon standard into the concentration uh, amount, 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 <laughs> into the amount. So, it is OD of your test upon OD of your standard because here you have taken only 0.5. This has been reduced to 100. So, my concentration of unknown is 100 micrograms per ml. Yeah. Sometimes people try to confuse you with different numbers and uh, calculations. Uh, similarly, one guy came to me and uh, reported that he has around 4.5 millimoles of per liter of uh, glucose. Other guy came and told me, no, no, it is 80 milligram percent glucose. Now, I need to find out that whether uh, they mean the same or they mean different. Anyways, uh, let's see. Now, if it is 80 milligram percent, yes, so it is 80, right, 80 milligram percent. So, it is around 100 ml. So, it is 80 milligrams in 100 ml. Uh, let me go into liters because I am going to deal with liters here. I am used to deal with liters here. So, it is 80 so, 100 co liter may if you want to convert like multiply by 10, let us multiply both. So, it is 80 milligrams, 800 milligrams in 1 liter. Okay, so this goes close enough, right. So, here uh, the other one reported it is 4.5 millimoles per liter. Uh, let us, let us convert it into grams. Uh, millimoles, let us keep it in milligrams because I already have milligram here. So, molecular weight of glucose, uh, you all know it. 180, yes. So, it is around, uh, say it would be 4.5 multiplied by 180, right, milligrams in a litre. So, 
this this comes to be something around please do this for me <laughs> uh, somewhere around I, I i have did it earlier <laughs> so this comes to around 810 milligrams of per liter close enough close enough so if someone comes and reports me like i have got this and i have got this in a regular routine practical uh, i will assume that yes uh, it is quite similar so yes it is close enough so whether you are talking about 4.5 millimoles per liter or 80 milligram per percent roughly for a very crude kind of a qualitative kind of analysis if you are using it you can go ahead with this stay tuned with me professor girish kukreja for more in microbiology biochemistry molecular biology and much more to explore thank you